The soft glow of my laptop screen illuminated the darkened room as I scrolled through the listings on Craigslist, searching for the perfect deal. My eyes scanned the listings. I was trying to find an ad for a vintage record player with a decent price. I was a little skeptical. The seller's location was in the middle of nowhere, but the price was too good to pass up, so I sent a quick message to the seller, arranging to meet later that evening. As I made my way to what felt like the middle of nowhere, I got the feeling something wasn't quite right. But I brushed aside my doubts, chalking them up to paranoia. When I arrived at the address, I found myself standing before a rundown house, its windows boarded up and its paint peeling away in strips. The first warning sign I ignored. I decided to press forward anyway because I was determined to get that record player and get out of there. I knocked once, no answer. I knocked twice, and the door opened slightly. As I stepped inside, the air grew heavy with the scent of decay and neglect. Another warning sign I ignored for that damn record player. Shadows danced on the walls, their movements haunting and eerie. I called out to announce my presence but there was no reply. Instead, I found myself drawn deeper into the darkness, my footsteps echoing through the long, empty halls. Then, from the shadows, a figure emerged behind me, a man, his face covered in darkness, his eyes filled with malice. He locked the door I came through. I knew in an instant that I walked right into a trap, lured in by a madman who preyed upon unsuspecting victims. Panic seized me as I realized the danger of my situation. With nowhere to run, I prepared to fight for my life, my heart pounding in my chest from the adrenaline surging through my body. With a roar of defiance, I launched myself at the Craigslist killer, my fists raining down upon him with all the strength I could muster. But he was a formidable opponent, his movements quick and precise as he countered my every punch I threw at him. The scent of sweat and blood filled the air as we grappled with one another, locked in a deadly battle of survival. Each punch and kick was met with equal force, the sound of our struggle echoing through the empty house. Despite my best efforts, the killer gained the upper hand, pinning me to the ground with a strength born of madness. With an evil grin, he raised a knife above his head, poised to strike the killing blow. But just as the blade descended, I summoned every ounce of strength within me and lashed out with all my might, sending the killer sprawling to the ground. With a roar of victory, I scrambled to my feet and fled into the night, leaving the darkness and terror of that house behind me. As I emerged into the cool night air, the weight of what had transpired settled over me like a shroud. I had narrowly escaped the clutches of the Craigslist killer, but the memory of that fateful encounter would haunt me for the rest of my days. From that day forward, I vowed to be more cautious in my online dealings, knowing that the shadows of the internet held dangers far beyond my wildest nightmares. And as I walked away from that house of horrors, I knew that I had survived against all odds a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable evil.